flowers. Okay, we're now in the first week of June, so now it's winter, and of course, naturally, the weather has, temperature has gone up. Ha! Ah, wonderful. Okay, so I was looking around my collection, and I discovered I had one more peated one that probably does need to be compared. I think I've got a few more, a couple more, maybe, but they're a bit inaccessible at the moment. So, in the meantime, um, I found my old Indian whiskey, the Paul John. Uh, this is the port cask. It was one of our whiskey club's exclusives. Uh, now, I originally didn't think this was actually peated, um, but it does have a smokiness to it. However, upon a uh, bit of research, I found that they actually do use Scottish peat in the production of their whiskies, um, which is, I find very, very fascinating because it doesn't taste like a Scottish peated whiskey. So. It belongs in the um, peat comparison. Now, I do not think this one is not going to probably hit the highlights of the uh, Lagavulin, Nick Offerman, or the Smokehead. Um, but, hey, I'm going to give it a fair chance. So, what I know I've got, I'm sure I've got another one somewhere, maybe an Arberg or something, but that I've got a couple of bottles that are just inaccessible at the moment. Um, I decided I was going back to one of the um, runner-ups from one of the previous ones, so I thought I'd try the um, try the Irish, the Kunamara, uh, only because, like I said, it doesn't taste like a Scottish peat, so I'll give it a comparison against the Irish peat. Okay, so we'll start with the uh, Paul John. So like I said, this is a, um, an Indian whiskey. Uh, they're relatively new. I find it interesting they're doing whiskies. It's a very different environment to a lot of um, whiskey producing um, eras. But I do recall this one being rather nice. Um, oh, look how dark that is. Now, that is, this is a pork cask finish. So obviously it's going to be have that ruby from the, um, the port. Okay, a lot of caramel notes on this one. Maybe a hint of honey, but yeah, definitely caramel. A bit of a citrusness, and there is this like, like a very fine smokiness to it. Hmm. Okay, it's a little peppery. Um, definitely got some ci citrus there. Uh, definitely caramel notes. And there is a smokiness, but like I said, it's not like a peat smokiness. It's, it's more like a spicy smokiness. It's like a paprika or or something. It's quite it's quite nice. It's different. Um, yeah, it's. So what we have here is a very nice sweet whiskey. Like I said, there's a lot of citrus. There's definitely a very um, heavy caramel taste throughout it. Um, and then like a sweet but spicy paprika smoky flavor to it. Um, quite delightful. Okay, so to be fair. The Irish. So I think I mentioned before, the Kunamara has appeared on several videos. This is an Irish peated. It is the only Irish peated. Now, that's in current production. Now, of course, in times past, the Irish used to make the whiskies the same way the Scots did. But since then, they've moved on to more modern fueled kilns, while some Scottish... Well, I mean, obviously, a lot of Scottish distilleries have done it too, because there's plenty of non-peated um, Scottish whiskies out there. Um, but yeah... Okay, so a nice uh, golden colour that we usually come associate with whiskies. Um, we can compare it to the um, Paul James, and you can definitely see the differences there. All right, so now under usual rule of thumb, the darker the whisky, the older. However, we know the Saint, the Paul Johns, is actually quite younger than um, any whisky of its contemporary because of the different environment in India. They actually mature a lot faster. Um, but again, I think the darkness and colour of that one is more the pork cask influence. So. 
a nice floral flavour. It's got a bit of a uh, touch of honey to it. And you wouldn't even think it was Peter just from the smell. Okay, um, definitely more honey notes than caramel. Um, it's got that little floral taste to it. And there's the um, there's the peak. Very subtle, uh, but very nice aftertaste to it. Not overly overwhelming. So, yeah, um, these are both very, very fine whiskey, so I'm not disparaging them in any way. I don't want anyone to think that. Um, so, I think in terms of peatiness, the um, Paul John's wins this round. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely got a much more smoky flavour than the um, Kunamara. Um, but like I said, it's not like a Scottish peat. So, yeah, I'm going to see if I can route around in the next couple of um, weeks, see if I can get some more, more inaccessible bottles. Otherwise, we'll be going to the um, finale, and it'll be uh, Smokehead versus the um, Lagavulin Edition 2. And now, I suppose, since this is technically around three, maybe I might just throw in a Paul John simply because it's whiskey. <laughs> okay, uh, so next week it might be the um, the next peak comparison, or it possibly, if delivery arrives on time, it will be delivery week. So that's that to look forward to. Um, so in the meantime, Sante.